Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're taking a look at some really cool iPhone hacks that do actually work on iOS 16. These hacks will make your device look way different and some of them are actually even very useful that you'll probably use on your device on a daily basis. Before we get started with the first hack or trick or whatever you want to call it, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel, so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of those, please make sure you subscribe, it really helps the channel a lot. And we're starting with the clock app. Now how many times did you want to set an alarm, but maybe you don't want to have a sound, you just want to have a vibration from your phone. This is how you do that. You go to the clock app and of course you go to alarms, you set up an alarm here and what you need to do is go to sound and right here make sure you just scroll all the way down and choose none. Now what you have done, you have created a new alarm but it won't actually have a sound at all, it will just have a vibration so you don't have that big sound in the morning, your iPhone will, will, will just vibrate and of course that way you can wake up. Next up, we're taking a look at an app called Chroma Hue. Now, this app will allow you to create beautiful wallpapers for your device. So, what you will need to do is select your device. So, if you have a device with a home button, you go here. For other devices, you go here. Now, what you can do with this app is add some outlines to the wallpapers on your device that will make the device look really, really cool. So, of course, you can go ahead and pick a background color here. Of course, just pick a wallpaper from your photos library by tapping here once you have picked the wallpaper all you have to do is choose to save it so you will have here the button to save it for the iPhone 14 Pro this is for the 14 Pro Max and you will have iPhone 11 or the iPhone 12 so you tap right there of course on the button which corresponds to your device and then we have the wallpaper ready to set and then we have now the wallpaper, you can see the outline right there. As you can see on the app, you can actually change those colors. But tap done here and you're good to go. And you will notice how cool that looks on the home screen. You can see when going in and out of the apps, you can see that animation right there around the corners of the phone. It looks really, really cool. The same thing will happen, of course, when going from the lock screen to the home screen. That animation right there just makes it look really, really awesome. So again, from the app here, you can see you have left color, middle color, and right color. You can always go ahead and pick these and change them to any other color you want. Now here's another one that you can do really easily. How to have bold text right there on the status bar of your device, on the control center as well, and the home screen as well. So if you wanna have that bold text, you can just go to your settings and head on under accessibility. Scroll all the way down, you will have per app settings. Tap on add app and you will find home screen at the top right there. Enter here and make sure you go ahead and choose bold text here and turn it on. And this will apply only to the home screen of your device. And as you can see now, you will have bold text right there on the status bar, on the home screen icons, as well as on your control center. So on the controls here, on the status bar, everywhere on the home screen, you can now have bold text. Now here's another really cool app. It is called Dynamic Notch and it allows you to customize the notch or the dynamic island, whichever device you have. So you open the app, of course it is free to download and choose the device that you have. So you pick right there, you can choose a wallpaper from your library or current wallpapers that are current wallpapers that are on the app. So let's just go here and pick a wallpaper that we might like, this one right there. You can see now we have there different options like add an airplane there or add these like grills right there add this bat or this cloud. You can see you have a lot of things that you can actually add to the notch on to, to the, actually to the dynamic island on the iPhone. You can see how cool these are that will make the device look just different. Of course, all these can be saved by tapping this button. You can see all of these from here are free. 14 different ones are free. And you can have other ones here that are actually paid. You can go ahead and purchase all of these for $2.99. And then of course, save these wallpapers on your device and apply them and they will actually make your device look really, really different. Now here's another one that has been working for years. It is still working on iOS 16. Really, really nice that it works. It's actually pretty useful. You can actually record a video 
on your iPhone while playing music in the background. But the only trick here is that you cannot actually go into the video mode. You will have to go to your camera while playing music and just stay on the photo mode here and tap and start recording. Of course, you can slide here to lock it and you're recording a video while music is being played on the background. That's the only way to do that. If you just go to the video mode, it will just shut down the music. So if you just want to do it, make sure you do it from the photo mode. The next thing I'm about to show you guys is really cool. Now, this is a shortcut that will allow you to have a 3D look on the home screen of your iOS 16 device. Fortunately, this has been updated and now it works with iOS 16. And you can see how cool the home screen will look like this. You can even separate the dock and the home screen icon into different cards. It looks really, really amazing. And of course, way, way different from stock iOS. So the ways to achieve this is actually pretty simple. It might seem complicated, but if you just follow the steps one by one, you will notice that it's not that hard. So first of all, you will need to download the shortcut, this one right here, home screen creator. I'll leave it linked right down below in the description of the video. So all you have to do is run the shortcut and just pick the wallpaper that you want to use. Once you have picked your wallpaper, you tap done here. If you get like anything, any pop up asking you to allow things, just allow them. And now from here, what you need to do is add elements to that wallpaper. So here what these all elements are. So tap right there. It will take to your files app. So head on to the shortcuts folder, head on to HSC right there, go to content and you will have here icons. So we want to have we want to add shadows or bumps or whatever you want to add for your icon. So let's go with shadows big. So we go there and you can see we have the shadows here. So we have to create our setup. So if you have a setup with just icons on the home screen, you can just simply add that one. But if we have the first two rows with icons and then we have a widget, maybe we can just go ahead and add this. So we add the first two rows and then we go add the second layer. So on the second layer, we can pick maybe we have there like a widget or something. We can just go ahead and go to widgets here. And again, let's just choose here what we want to add. So we added shadows big there. We're going to go with shadows big this time. So right there, we have maybe a medium to widget on the home screen. So we want to add that as well. And then for the last two rows, we would just want to add icons. So we'll go ahead, go to shortcuts right there and go to content here, icons, shadows big, and then we just wanna add the last two rows here. So we'll just add this one and add another one, tap yes there, go again. And then we have here the last row and now we have added all the icons. So we have two rows of icons. We have a widget there and we have another two rows of icons. Of course, you can configure these, add the elements based on how you have the home screen configuration on your device. Then tap the dump button here. We don't want to add any other layouts. We can save this tab done. Now what you can do here, so you can see the preview here. This is what the wallpaper look like before you go ahead and uh, apply it to the home screen of your device. So what you can do here is actually save this layout so you don't need to create it when you want to use it with another wallpaper. So you tap the dumb button and you can add a card for the dock right there, hide the notch, or if you just don't, don't want to do that, tap on no. And there we go. This is the final result. Tap on done. And what I suggest you do is save the layout to file. So save it right there. Add a name for it if you want to, and it will save it to your files app. So once you're done with that, you can now tap save to photos and you have to save the wallpaper. Tap exit and you're good to go. You have now saved the wallpaper. You can just go ahead and apply it to your home screen. And then the next time you want to create that same layout, but with a different wallpaper, all you have to do is tap here and choose the photo. You want to use the new photo so that we have the new photo. We tap on the dumb button and now just tap here. No, I have a layout and now you can just load the layout we saved. So again, go to shortcuts, go to HSC right there, content, and then we have our layouts and here we have the layouts that we have saved. We tap on that and it will just add the layout to our photo and we're good to go. We don't need to do anything more. Tap on no right there, tap on done, save it to photos and we're ready to go. 
Now, of course, now all that's left to do is set the wallpaper on the home screen. So we can go to wallpaper here, tap on customize on the home screen and add the wallpaper from the photo library. And then we have the wallpaper we just created, tap on done. And we're good to go now. Now we're on the home screen and we have the wallpaper with the shadows underneath the icons and of course the widget in the middle as well. So that's basically it for this video guys. These are some really cool hacks that you can apply to your device running iOS 16. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.